the Mercer sling. The first sling I ever made or used, the Mercer sling was an on the fly design that I made with a single piece of cordage. Depending on the cordage diameter, the Mercer sling can be made into a large range of pouch sizes. Starting on the finger loop side, tie a bowline where you want the pouch to be. The bowline, when folded, will be the size of your pouch. For a right handed slinger, start your weave on the left. For a left hand slinger, start your weave on the right. Continue weaving by passing the cords from the left to the right. Make sure to keep the braids tight. Once you are about halfway, you will be ready to start the transition. Pass the woven cord around the back of the retention cord. Then pass the remaining part of the bowline over the retention cord or pull the retention cord through the loop of the bowline. At this point, you will get things even and begin your weave. Start the weave on the right side. Here is a closer look. You will be weaving one cord on the left hand or inner edge of the pouch and over two cords on the outside edge. The two cords on the outside edge should be one of the bowline loops and one of the woven strands that made its way to the top of the pouch. Continue braiding here until you're almost even. It'll start to get very tight and you may need some tools to help you push them through the loops. At this point, it's quite important to try and make the pouch even. You want there to be roughly the same amount of braids on either side. Once you get things even, it'll be time to finish the pouch. Start this by passing it through the remaining loop and then through the center of the pouch. This creates somewhat of a stopper knot to stop things moving too much. At this point, you're just gonna continue braiding that final loop by passing the cord through until there's no more space. This is where this design has a flaw. Because it's all tied before you get to the end, sometimes you can end up with baggy or over or undersized pouch. But with some practice, you'll get there. I recommend using more cordage than you think you need to. Many times in the beginning, I would make this sling and be just short on the release cord. So if you have the option, use more cordage than necessary. Continue braiding until it's extremely tight. The last few loops will pull tight as you put tension on the sling. So try and jam as much in there as you can and leave a little bit excess on the release cord before you cut it if you have got excess cord because it will stretch and you can add additional braids in. Once it's all tied, just pull things tight and make everything sit nicely in place. And you'll have a sling ready to go. So there it is, the Mercer sling.